Leopai is a town amid powerful elements. The sea, sand, wind, and sunset exist side by side. The company we are going to tell you about is in a place where the people of Leopaya have learned to tame another element, fire. The flow of molten metal at Leopaya's Metallurgs is an unforgettable sight. Leopaya is a vibrant town. Even the sea does not freeze over here. And the residents of Leopaya love life and movement. They know how to enjoy the smooth sandy beach and the violent waves. In Leopaya, one can hear not only the soft rumble of the sea and the wailing of the winds, but more often than in other towns, you'll hear the sound of music. It is the birthplace of many Latvian musicians. Live music is played in clubs and coffee bars, as well as on the streets. It is impossible to imagine Leopaya without Leopaya's Metallurgs, the largest processing plant in Latvia. Every fifth inhabitant of Leopaya is closely connected with this powerful company. However, before we head out to enjoy the ardent play of metal and fire, let's meet one of the characters in our story. As it happens, this anchor weighing two and a half tons, having traveled all over the seas and oceans, has served its time. Very soon, it will become nothing but a piece of rust. The steel makers of the metallurgical plant have decided to give another life to this sea dog. It will be transformed into a completely new form. This is not a solemn send-off for the anchor or its last march to the town we shall let you in on a secret. Very soon, it will return to the town, only in a different shape. But let's keep things in succession. As the first step, our anchor, as well as any other bulky scrap metal, will have to stop at the scrap metal cutting area. In a trough, already in a more compact form, our former anchor, along with other scrap metal, travels to the most impressive division of the metallurgical plant, the open hearth melt shop. There, in three open hearth furnaces, the temperature of 1,600 degrees Celsius, scrap metal turns into a fiery steel mass. Our anchor is about to go through great changes. The derrick sends it to the furnace, 
where burning gas and heavy fuel oil will turn the remains of the anchor into high quality steel. In order to avoid any doubts concerning the proper quality, samples of the steel from each furnace are being sent to the laboratory by special air mail. The anchor has been cast from high quality metal. The laboratory conclusion is confirmatory. Now we have to come to one of the most fascinating sites in the metallurgical plant, the teeming of the contents of the furnace. Almost 100 tons of seething liquid metal is being teamed into a ladle. The molecules of the anchor are floating somewhere in these fiery waves. There is a long and interesting process stage still ahead. At first, the steel in the huge ladle travels to the continuous casting system. where the steel, as bright as the sun, continuously flows into four molds, immediately turning into angular and hard semi-finished shapes called billets. Each of them weighs almost one ton and discharges an enormous amount of heat. so-called cooling tables make the semi-finished shapes harder and harder, and soon they acquire their typical steel color. However, this is not the new conception of our protagonist. The true changes are still ahead. Now we shall take a short trip by train to the most important staging process, the rolling. In the rolling mill, almost half a kilometer long, our anchor, as well as any other semi-finished product, is destined to change its form radically once more. At first, the billets go to the so-called reheating furnace. This time, a temperature of 1,100 degrees Celsius will be sufficient. Soon again, this still becomes easy to handle. Next, in a fine work stage, the rolling of metal. 
The core product of Leopias Metallurgs is reinforcing steel bar for construction, more often called rebar. To transform a steel billet into reinforcing bar, the billet is subjected to processing by special rolls. Certain groove or pass form of the roll corresponds to each size of reinforcing bar. Such grooves or pass forms are made by using sophisticated, high precision processing equipment right here at Leopias Metallurgs. Each of the subsequent pairs of rolls make the steel billet thinner and thinner according to the ordered size and cut. Snip snip and something that once was a former anchor or car body or heating pipes is now transformed into durable steel rod products for construction. Soon these rods will be cemented into the foundations and walls of houses. But meanwhile, we can enjoy the rhythms of the red stripes, the fiery loops and bright lines. Tens of engines maintain the capacity of the rolling lines 24 hours a day. This is the largest of them. Two and a half million watts and 6,000 volts is not child's play. The slitting technology is also visually impressive. It is especially economical as it slits each billet into three parts lengthwise. When the stilling bar goes through the process of rolling, it moves through the water cooling section onto a special cooling bed. To be completely sure in the proper quality of the product, the samples of the rebar are sent to the laboratory where they undergo testing for endurance. The physical characteristics of the steel are examined through the various deformation tests such as tensile strength, compression, bending, and other tests. If the laboratory gives its okay, the finished product travels on. This is the last stage in the half kilometer long rolling mill. The rods ride along a cooling conveyor as if on a highway, where they are being tied into bundles, loaded into trains or trailers, and sent to the recipients of the product. Our anchor will probably go along with this load, back to the port, where it originally came from. Every week, ships are loaded with product for export. This ship will sell to Germany, where the rods produced at Leopias Metallurgs will reinforce the foundation or walls of the building. The port of Leopia is also Leopias Metallurgs. The company is the main stockholder of the port of Leopia, locally called Oesta LM, and it is obvious that the plant provides a considerable portion of the port's turnover. The steel rods produced at Leopias Metallurgs are also used in Latvian building construction. Also here, in the building of Leopias new basketball hall. The export market is a priority for Leopias Metallurgs. Having recovered from the difficulties of privatization, the company has managed to attract more and more export partners. It is arguably among the 10 largest companies in Latvia by turnover. Moreover, Leopias Metallurgs is the largest processing plant in the country. The company exports its products to 32 countries on four continents, which include Western Europe, 
the Nordic countries, the African countries, Russia, Canada, the United States, South America, China, Thailand, Taiwan, and even Singapore. No one could conquer these export markets in one day, or even 10 years. Leopias Metallurgs is a company with 125 years of history, originally dating back to 1882. It is the year when the Bakers, father and son, founded the Leopia Nail and Wire Factory. Soon, they built the first open hearth furnace and started to process scrap metal. By the turn of the century, the factory's products were reaching not only Russia, but other European countries and Canada. In the 1930s, the company expanded and the production became more and more diversified. During the Soviet era, by the end of the 1960s, the volume of rolled metal had reached one million tons. In the 1970s, the continuous casting facility started to function, and Leopias Metallurg's products were in high demand all over the Soviet Union. The company played an ever-increasing important role in the life of Leopia outside the area of employment. Leopias Metallurg's support of sports is a viable tradition even today. The football and ice hockey clubs also bear the Leopias Metallurg's name. At least 600 children and youth can practice football and ice hockey in six sports centers, including three stadiums on the beach. European level competitions take place in the stadiums of Leopias Metallurgs, and its team is one of the strongest in Latvia. Leopias Metallurg's Ice Arena is a place where new and prospective players are being forged for Latvia, which is an ice hockey country. The practices are held all year round. The interest of young people is high, and the success they achieve is significant. Cultural events on the world scale also take place in the stadium. Mr. Robert Wells. Leopis Metallurgs is a holding company with more than 4,000 employees. In the morning, the city buses and tram cars are full. Those are metallurgists going to work. The company is trying to improve working conditions that obviously are not easy, since the steel industry and this sector by nature has a challenging working environment. The company takes responsibility for appropriate working clothes, social guarantees, wages, and an adequate workload. The metallurgical plant has its own catering service, and there is a canteen in each of its sections. You cannot do anything on an empty stomach in the shops of the metallurgical plant. And after a good share of work, one can treat oneself to a coffee and sweets. Health comes first in everybody's life. This is also true at Leopias Metallurgs. The plant has its own medical center that extends help to both the company employees and the town's residents. In recent years, the slag processing shop has played an important part in production. 
environmentally friendly leftover furnace slag is the waste product of the metallurgical plant. It is being crushed with special equipment and sold. Since it was not known what to do with the slag during the Soviet time, it was dumped in Lake Leopold. Today, the crushed slag is substituted for gravel or roadstone and is being widely used in construction, especially when building new roads. Being the core product steel reinforcement bar by far is not the only product the company makes. The different castings are produced depending on the orders the plant receives. time to time, quite elegant items are made here. For example, church bells. This bronze beauty will soon ring in some church in Latvia, pleasing the church goers. In the casting shop, they make the modern capers for the construction piles. The times when the builders had to drive the piles into the ground with a resounding noise will soon be gone. Today, the piles with their cast threaded caps are screwed into the ground. The plant itself is being modernized as well. The classic open heart furnaces are being replaced with electric furnaces, which are more productive, easier to use, and environmentally friendly. Meanwhile, the three famous chimneys of the open hearth shop, a landmark of Leopaya, have been fitted with new air filters, complying with all European Union standards. The air is twice cleaner than required. The company is a living organism. It grows and develops and its interaction with society is important. The ties with the residents of Leopaya get stronger every day. Apart from providing investment and employment, the company also takes part in the cultural life of the city. Metal is not just another industry, it is also beauty. The fiery beauty in the shops exists side by side with scrap metal beauty. Yes, exactly the scrap metal beauty brought out by artists. In the seemingly immense heaps of scrap metal, artists find magnificent pieces of scrap that awaken their imagination. And then, using cutters, blades, polishing machines, and welding equipment, they start recreating metal the same way the Leopaya metallurgical plant does. Most probably, this is the trump card of metallurgy. Metal is an endless, recyclable resource. Iron ore can become a caterpillar truck that later becomes an iron anchor and still later becomes a reinforcing bar, which in its turn could be made into a piece of art, and so on. Technology changes, but metal stays endlessly regenerating. The human race, mankind, cannot exist without metal, and metal is nothing without people. Generations change, but metal is regenerating again and again, and the metallurgical company is the witness of this exciting interaction. Leopias Metallurgs, the company ahead of its time. No tāliem laikiem uz jaunu rītu Laiks pārmēt tiltu no prieka vītu 